Perhaps it's interesting to show more about my construction techniques from this amplifier that I've published in a series of videos on YouTube. I've now made the preamp. It was first tested thoroughly. In fact, it's a quite long RC filter, and in that way you can realize loudness in the most simple way. The video about that loudness circuit is on YouTube. Um, here there are holes where I finally mount mesh. Here also, here the place of the transformer. Uh, one channel from the amplifier and I still have to make this channel. This will take perhaps two hours or so and then it's ready. Um, more about these construction techniques. Perhaps interesting to tell. At first I use here in the front a template. Does it look nice? No it doesn't, but it works very good. I use this, this template and you can um, work on the template, cut it with a scissor. Such a big scissor for tapestry. Works very good. I drilled holes, mounted the potentiometers, mounted the holes, uh, made the holes very big because in the future perhaps someone has to be replaced and then I need such uh, this amount of space. The potentiometers are soldered in, I hope you can see it here, so that they are shielded. The template here is uh, now connected here to the one and only chassis point from the amplifier and that's here at this moment. So all is free from the template but uh, it is connected here and I've made here uh, two lines, you can see them perhaps positive line and a negative line, mounted all the components in between. <coughs> I hope that's visible and fix that with some silicon kit. You can see that here. Isolates very properly. I've marked all the capacitors for the future and glued the capacitors with this type of glue universal polyester putty, some hardener and then make some paste with hardener, put your component in it and within five minutes or so it sits and it's very well mounted. Here's the power supply, uh, power resistor gets somewhat warm so I mount it here with a piece of iron wire, smoothing capacitor and uh, important again the minus wire here, positive wire on the other side. The smoothing capacitor is parallel to the positive and negative lead and the positive here goes to the 40 volts from the end amplifier. By the way very interesting perhaps to show now how a ground loop sounds. That's a um, classical problem when you want to uh, develop audio amplifiers, you make a ground loop. I've made it here for demonstration. And here you hear the ground loop. It's a kind of deep hum and you can't compare that to, sh to a hum uh, that has to do with shielding. Now I make the proper connection and the ground loop is gone. The amplifier is totally silent even when I don't have at the moment a stabilized power supply. You can hear nothing. Only a 4700 capacitor, supply capacitor and it's completely silent and there's also at the moment no shielded wire used. This is all unshielded. So that means that this setup from this amplifier is healthy. And perhaps uh, I get some hum when I mount it definitely, but then I'm going to shield the cables to the input. And of course that has to be done when it's necessary. Perhaps it is not necessary. So that was something to tell about um, 
the construction techniques. Here I can swap, swap the left and the right channel. It doesn't function at the moment because I only have one channel now. I have only one amplifier, one end amplifier and one pre-amplifier uh, functioning. But anyway, I can't give a sound demonstration because I don't have good music that um, has the full richness that I need for such a demo. Wish you luck.